So today we're rebuilding the Padres because they signed Xander Bogarts a few days ago and you guys have been blowing up my comment section asking for this. And I honestly thought they were going to try to sign somebody else or make, you know, a trade or something, but it kind of seems like their whole free agency is kind of cooled off a little bit and they might sprinkle in some pieces here and there. And to be honest, that's kind of, to be honest, ooh, that, no, I don't like that. To be honest, that's kind of all they need. A couple pitchers here and there, maybe another bat or two, and this lineup's pretty complete. So with that being said, I know some of you guys are going to say they don't need a rebuild, but we're going to come in here and we're going to win a World Series. So here we are. Let's, let's talk about this team because I've, I've looked at the team quite a bit. I've looked at like what the projected lineups and everything are. Obviously for the first, I think like month, month and a half, Tatis is suspended. So what is going to happen. I'm assuming Bogarts is going to stay at short. You're going to have Haseon Kim at second, Cronenworth at first, and then Machado at third. Like that makes sense. But when Tatis comes back, is it Tatis to the outfield, Bogarts at short, Kim stays at second, you know, the, the infield stays the same. And then just Tatis goes to the outfield. Is Bogarts moving to a DH? Is Bogarts moving to second? Is Tatis moving to second? Like what is the plan there? I feel like because Tatis has worked in the outfield already, that kind of makes the most like logical sense and that also kind of fills a positional need because right now left center like with grisham there like and left really nobody's there like the outfield is pretty open on top of that i've noticed that the pitching could use a little bit of help too starters look a little weak bullpen looks a little weak so with this offseason let's go help that spot all right so i've made like fringe moves and that's just because i kind of am unsure if i want to completely blow the budget i have budgets off by the way so i can go over the budget because the Padres do that in real life. But I was kind of looking, now that I think about it, like Gene Segura. Gene Segura like kind of fits. You know, he takes over for Ha Young Kim. Ooh, I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass. All right, let me show Let me show you what I did. Let me show you what I did. So we've got Joe Ross, Odor, Chapman, Knable, Archer, Duval, Sano, Smiley, Conforto, and Prince Jensen. You can all see the, the contracts that I've offered. Kind of cheaper, four or five mil deals. Nothing too crazy. There's I'm not, I'm not going to get Canable. I got to bump up this offer. Um, maybe make him a bullpen offer. Bump it up to like five. Is that going to get me in first place? It will. Okay. So you can kind of see four or five range in terms of the, the dollar amount. Joe Ross is the most expensive at eight and a half. But I figured most of these guys are going to be fringe guys or they're going to help out in the bullpen or they're going to help out in the starting rotation. And if it doesn't go well, we just do a trade like the Padres like to do because they're notorious for like completely changing up their team every single year. So with that being said, I'm going to fix the 40 man because I want to make sure I don't lose any of these prospects, but those are the moves. All right. So I did go a little crazy with different signings, but to be honest, I'm not that far over budget. Six mil in the grand scheme of things. It's obviously not Steve Cohen money, but like six mil, not bad. Not bad. That's actually pretty close to where we're supposed to be. Steve Cohen, it'd be like 450 mil over budget, but yeah, let's talk about the team. So what I've done is we are going to have Tatis out for the first month, which is kind of what's expected with the suspension. And how we're going to do that is now this is the team. Bogarts at short, Machado, Cronenworth at first, Soto, Sano. I did sign him to a one-year deal. Uh, three mil. We'll see what happens. Conforto, another one-year deal. We've got four and a half. Campusano, Haseon Kim is going to be at second. And then Grisham is going to be in center. Overall, I don't I don't hate the team. I actually like it a lot. There's not much that needs to be done. And then we've got Duval, Odor, Sosa, who I picked up, and then Tapia as well. Something about Tapia, he fits the, like, I don't know if it's the, the blonde hair, the dreads, because he's the most electric player in baseball. I don't know what it is, but it feels like a Padre. He feels like a Padre. So I had to put him on the team. And then down here, we've, we've got a couple different players we could look for, but realistically this is the squad and then pitching wise we've added a couple names like drew smiley joe ross i've also got chris archer in triple a and then the bullpen has a couple new arms as well i wanted to bolster it i wanted to try to find some better players and that's kind of what we have a lot of these guys are on one-year deals or expiring deals fairly soon the one i'm worried about the most is this one i think he's gonna tank and that's why i'm gonna need a new pitcher so i could turn to more home but I just, I don't know if he's going to be good enough, especially when our rotation really isn't the strongest to begin with. So let's see what we can do. And hopefully we can keep up with the rest of the West. At the de deadline, we're pretty far off, right? But we are in a wild card spot, which is good. Two games above the Giants. So we're pretty close. We're pretty close. So itching, need it. Um, do, do Darvish, you Darvish is struggling a lot. So is uh, Drew Smiley. Like I said, we've got Chris Archer, who I'm going to call up. On top of that, Chapman and Hayter both doing terribly so 
what I'm looking for is a pitcher and potentially a bullpen arm. Um, at least one pitcher. And I'm trying to think of someone that would work. Hmm. I'm like trying to look at like different teams. Like who who would they have? The Red Sox, would they have anybody? I don't think so. Twins, Royals, the Tigers. Tigers are an interesting one. Tigers might be okay. Let's see here. Casey Mize. Spencer Turnbull. I know he becomes a free. Oh, he's got one more year of arbitration. He's probably not going to do much better than he already is right now. But I feel like this is going to be a pretty easy trade. Yeah, we're pretty close already. So let's throw them. Let's throw them him. That doesn't really work that much. I was kind of hoping it would have given me a little bit more. All right, let's go with. I'm not using Edmundo Sosa. They can have him. And then let's see who else is going to get this deal done. Victor Acosta. Can I give you Prince Jensen instead? He looks okay, but we'll see. is he? I thought that said six seven for a second. Six foot four. Either way, those for Spencer Turnbull will make the trade. All right, this trade right here is going to get us Matt Barnes. So another bullpen arm, pretty big contract, but it is expiring. And he's going to take over Chapman's spot because Chapman. Yeah, he, he didn't work. I was kind of hoping we could have gotten one more year out of him. But yeah, we we didn't. So that's it's, it's unfortunate, but we'll we'll make it work. It's fine. We're still we're still in a wild card spot. Things are looking good. And offensively, I mean, for the most part, things are looking good too. We could probably switch out uh Sano, but for who? Maybe Conforto. And then maybe kind of move some things around a little bit. Yeah, Campusano's been pretty bad. Uh so we'll probably make the the traditional trade for a catcher at some point that the Padres like to do. But at the deadline, I feel like those are some pretty decent trades to get us through the rest of the season and at least hold down that wild card spot. All right, so we made the postseason as a wild card team. Like that was that was kind of expected. We're taking on the Cardinals league leaders. Joe Musgrove was really good, along with Tatis and Bogart. So, yeah, you like to see that. On top of that, we've got an award winner, Hank Aaron Award, an MVP, and a Silver Slugger. All right, like that, like that a lot. J Ram wins it on the other side with the Guardians, and okay. Interesting names. Kittredge. We've got Taylor Rogers with the Dodgers. Taylor Rogers is still a free agent, isn't he? I'm wondering who's going to pick him up because that's a decent lefty to have in a bullpen. I wonder if he's like holding out for a lot of money or what the what the deal is there. So, okay, this is a little messy. I'll clean it up and then we'll get into the postseason. All right, so we saw batting average. Oh, no, we didn't. We saw the awards. Now we're going to look at batting average before we look at the lineups and everything or team rankings, I should say, because you can kind of see we're we're up there one of the best offenses in baseball which makes sense i mean the team is absolutely insane home runs only sixth huh interesting interesting all right so let's take a look at pitching nick martinez was really solid maybe deserves a starting spot maybe maybe and then we've got tim hill aka draft neck mark i think i made that joke last time i did a Padres rebuild but it, it is it is uh cory knabel i did sign him to a one-year deal potential went up but in terms of what he did, not ideal. Matt Barnes obviously threw the trade. Pomeranz was solid. I believe he is a free agent. He is. And then Robert Suarez, who they recently extended his contract, as well as Josh Hader. Well, they didn't extend his contract. So taking a look at the rest of the team, you've got Musgrove, who's really good. You've got Turnbull, Blake Snell, more like Blake Smell. And then, of course, Joe Ross, who actually not bad. Did I give him a two-year? I only gave him a one-year. Okay. And then Drew Smiley, who... Eesh, eesh. All right. So lineup wise, Austin Nola was actually not too bad. Probably should have been the starting catcher. Duvall, again, not terrible. Odor wasn't great. Sano wasn't great. And then we've got Azokar along with, ooh, who'd they send down? Oh, Tapia. Yeah, Tapia just, yeah, he wasn't good. He wasn't good. Will I bring him back? Potentially. Potentially. Tatis as the leadoff guy, really good season. Really good year. Same thing with Bogarts. Same thing with Machado. Same thing with Soto. Like that one through four is absolutely gross. Cronenworth's potential went down, which is really, really annoying to see. Um, we got one more year of arbitration with him. Campusano, I wanted to give him the at bats because he's got the A potential. I want to see how he develops. We got Haseon Kim, who, eh, uh, Conforto wasn't that great, and uh, neither was Trent Grisham. So it's like half the lineup's really good, half the lineup's really bad. As we get to the postseason, we're taking on the Cardinals. It's a one and done situation, and it's a done. Okay, um, season two, uh, the Cardinals end up winning the World Series. What is, whoa, okay, what lineup do they have? Obviously Wilson, they brought in Bryson Stott. Interesting. So was he traded to the Phillies then? Uh, Gorman, 
no where's where's gorman where is he is he still with the, the cardinals he's not so he had to have gone to the phillies right he did he wasn't good okay all right so there's that but like okay so pitching wise i'm assuming the cardinals are just gross and i, I think they did go a little crazy in the offseason with pitching they signed who did they sign alex wood and then no i thought they did so they just they just won a world series casually all right good for them good for them all right time to boost this team up in the offseason a lot of players retired archer darvish and those are kind of the main ones from our team okay <sighs> oh boy this is a lot of names top has got an option i'll take it Ooh, i'm gonna decline that because i know i can get him for cheaper than four mil yeah three mil deal deal pomeranz is regressing so no i'm not in on duval no conforto how much does he want like three mil again i don't know about that one i don't know about that one i don't feel good about it smiley was okay and then we've got Knable, odor odor ross barnes and blake snell and hater i think i'm out on hater i just am blake snell i think i'm out on as well barnes i'm out and joe ross how much does he want 10 how much what does our starting pitching look like we've got musgrove turnbull and then morihone is the next one we have guaranteed on the team so we we could yeah i mean as a as a five it's it, it can't be that bad what does he want 10 i'll bump it up to 11 and i feel like we do a little club option here and that should lock him up so contracts we've got ross and tapia and conforto i don't know if that's yeah i guess i guess that's fine that's fine i don't i don't like it but we'll, we'll make it work for next year gotta add some players gotta go through this we should have decent money to work with all right so we've got two players who didn't sign in tapia and conforto right so we've got about 70 ish mil to play with which is solid we've, we've got joe ross back and currently the team looks like this right so like starting looks okay i might even move martinez over to the starter rock with morihone as a long reliever but i feel like martinez was really good here at 33 years old i don't know if he's gonna hold his rating so realistically we're probably looking for like another top of the rotation type guy and then let's bolster this bullpen closer two relievers and then lineup wise we just need another bat another bat and then depth because like if you look at the depth chart it's looking a little it's looking a little wonky i don't know why tatis oh tatis is in center but okay i see i see i don't get why the depth chart doesn't mimic like what your lineup looks like or something or like why isn't trent grisham who's a center fielder in center field and then like tatis would take over for that other position that's open you know what i mean also why is kim at short and not bogarts i don't i don't really understand the depth chart it's a little wonky and it it it, it, uh, it kind of it flusters me because i can't really see who's going where um i feel like otani is like a must right like just just give him just give him the money uh he's he's coming to san diego it, it's yeah it's happening so do i need that extra bat probably not probably not um so there's my starter bullpen arms i'm not too sure yet it's really just whoever i can sign at a decent price because i've just used half my budget right there on otani catcher don't need i'll make a trade and first base maybe maybe but realistically, I just need a couple bats here and there, shuffle up some things, and we should be good to go. I mean, right there, I feel like Otani's the big move. All right, let's talk about the team here. So, pitching wise, Otani's in. Got Otani. There we go. Otani on the Padres makes sense, right? Um, this looks a little iffy, but at the same time, it doesn't look bad. It's the bullpen I'm a little worried about. A lot of like hit or miss guys uh ryan weathers i have i have faith in but then stecken rider canable brebia reyes e. i do have garcia and leclerc down here as well just in case and then when you take a look at the lineup we've got nola tapia flores conforto tony camp and dubon along with our whole lineup here which of course otani is going to be a dh so like there's that so as you can see bench is like completely different and i also do still have like a couple other players in like Andujar, Arcia, we still got Azucar down here. Elier Hernandez, who I believe was with the Rangers in real life. I believe that's right. And I think that's that's kind of it. Oh, I brought in Miguel Castro and Jake Cave. So there, there is a couple other players sprinkled in the farm system. We're currently ranked third. 
which is crazy. It's got to be the pitching that's uh, bringing us down. Yeah, pitching is ninth, but everything else looks really good. So this has got to be the year. All right, I need some pitching at the deadline. Farm system is pretty weak. So this is what I can get, right? <laughs> Yarborough, I still think I need more based on what I saw. And uh, I do, I do. I also need a little bit of pitching help. Suarez is uh, really the one that's like really sticking out. But I think another starter would be nice. And again, I don't, I don't really have a farm system. So like I kind of need to be a little, little picky. Um, I looked at what the Cardinals had because they were in, they're like at the bottom of the central, but they don't really have anybody. I'm trying to see what other, what other moves I can make for sale. Like is his value high? Let's, let's just take a look. It's not. Ooh. Okay. I'm not going to use this guy. And then would one of these C potential starters get us like really close? doesn't look like it what about maybe like one of these bats that we're not using maybe like a left fielder that we're not using what do they need first third or short i mean i don't really have anybody like i said the, <laughs> the farm system's pretty weak and uh i don't i don't think any of these guys are gonna be enough for chris sale uh we're a little short we're a little short so chris sales off the table which okay i mean it makes sense it makes sense so who else could we go out and get ah man not a lot not a lot of options let's see here anybody that's like about to expire that would be cheap that's that's kind of what i need i need someone that's going to be cheap because i can't really trade for anybody else like at all i don't really want to bring back chris paddock um let's see here let's see let's see let's see let's see there's there's really nobody unless i go with maybe one of the guardians pitchers like Bieber, Bieber's way out of our range. Holy cow. Uh, <laughs> he was so far. How's Heaney doing? Not bad. All right, let's let's be cheap. Let's be cheap. Let's let's go and get Andrew Heaney, and then we'll throw them like a like this guy. And there we go. That's it's, it's cheap, but like that's really all we can get. And to be honest, that's like, ah, man, man, our team's doing really bad, huh? Wow. So yeah, offensively, it looks fine. Pitching wise, we're gonna move Turnbull to long relief. We're gonna move Martinez into the middle relief. Rebbe have been sent down and that's our team. We'll see. All right, so we won the division and uh, 102 and 60. The thing, that we, the thing that won us the division, these two games right here, those two games right there. I mean, look at us, two games above the Dodgers. That's what won us the division. League leaders, Musgrove again, Tatis killing it offensively. And then we take a look at awards. Hank Aaron, that was it. Uh, we have two players in the mix for uh, MVP. Not good enough. Seager wins it with the Rangers. And then Flaherty with the Angels winning Cy Young, along with Tony Gonsolin, beating out Joe Musgrove. All right, fair enough. Batting title went to Ian Happ. If Ian Happ signs with the Reds, he's going to hit 400 home runs. That's all he does when he's in Cincinnati, is he hits home runs. It's ridiculous. Reliever of the year goes to Hauk and Lucas Sims. And then rookie of the year is Brett Beatty, along with Malcolm Nunez. Okay. All right. So pitching rotation, I'm assuming is going to be a little, little messed up. Let's see. Actually, it is not. Leclerc got called up, but that means offensively someone got sent down, which I think it was Conforto. That's because Conforto didn't, didn't get a single at bat this year. Thing is, maybe we go like, we like weather is there to get the extra setup, man. Have that extra arm in the bullpen. We didn't use one of our hitters. So like, what's the point when we can just have an extra bullpen arm? Turnbull was like a one year wonder, was bad after that. But Clerk's gonna get some chances, we'll see. I still gotta fix it. I don't know why he throws lefty. He's not a lefty. I know he's not a lefty. I gotta make a note, change the Clerk's arm. Second Rider was good, Martinez was solid. Reyes was good here. Canable, okay. And Ryan Weathers along with Robert Suarez. Robert Suarez a little bit of a letdown, but Rhett Weathers was pretty good. Honestly, I might, I might flip them and go like that. Musgrove, we saw, was in the Cy Young race. He was really good. Otani, kind of disappointing. Kind of disappointing. Yarborough, Joe Ross, okay. Wasn't bad. And then Andrew Heaney as well. So for the most part, I feel like we did fairly well with our trades. Some did well, some didn't, but not, not too bad. Tapia, an improvement from last year, so I'll take it. Wilmer Flores off the bench, or even starting is usually good. Dubon, meh. And then Andujar got called up for Tony Kemp. Okay. All right. I mean, I understand it. Tatis, how we looking? I mean, crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. Shohei, 31 home runs. Average is low, but like everything else is decent. So I'll take it. Machado was good. 
Soto was solid. Bogarts killed it. Holy cow, what a year. Campusano still pretty bad. Still pretty bad. Same thing with Kim. And then Cronenworth definitely regressing. Holy cow. And then Grisham. E. Yikes. All right, let's 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 see how we do in the postseason. Let's see who we are facing. It is the Dodgers. Of course it is. I saw that they had Sevi, so I kind of want to see what other moves. Yar Falefa? Ew. Michael A. Taylor in center field? What is this team? How are they this good still? Either way, what are we going to do against them? Andrew Heaney, Dustin May, doesn't matter. We win the game. Taking on the Braves now. Let's go take a look at the Braves. Not this. I didn't want to see this. I wanted to actually see their lineup and see what they're looking like. So they brought back Dansby. They brought in Yastrzemski. And obviously Sean Murphy was a trade this year. Bench is looking a little weird. But pitching is still going to be crazy good. And I mean, it's, it's, it's a good team. So with the Braves, I mean, we got to win early and we we swept them. Good Lord. We're going to be taking on the Guardians. Ooh, ooh, I like this matchup. I like this matchup a lot. What do we got going on here? So Josh Bell, obviously Valera. Okay. I mean, Fran Mill's back. But for the most part, I, I, I'm Nick Fortes. But that, that's a that's a interesting team. I do. That, I mean, for the most part, that's that's a Guardians offensive lineup. So like. I feel like we're pretty good. We do need to change this up. I think everybody needs to move up a spot. Does that change Otani in the lineup? It shouldn't because he's the second pitcher. So let's see what happens against the Guardians. Win the first, win the second, win the third. Can we close it out? Of course we can. I mean, come on. The team was way too good not to. A clean sweep. Machado MVP and the playoff MVP. Hold on. He won the award. Hold on one rbi and he was world series mvp are are we are we sure out of the eight eleven uh 18 runs he produced one of them and he was the mvp how he did have 13 in the postseason but like there's definitely other people who had to have brought in other runs besides machado like what so who brought in our runs here rbi two of them campusano right there already more what about this game? What do we have here? RBIs. You've got Tatis, Soto, Kim, Dubon already equal or more than Machado. And then here, Tatis again with another RBI. Cronenworth, Grisham, all more RBI. So like, what? How how are we how are we giving this to Machado? Makes no sense. Soto again with another two RBIs. Bogarts with two. I think Soto should be the World Series MVP. Like, yes, Machado was good offensively getting on base. But like give it to someone who actually produced some runs but here's the team one more time i mean this is probably one of the best teams we've made on paper i mean tatis otani machado bogarts soto i mean besides otani that's the padres so yeah they're gonna be pretty good at least you'd expect them to be so i hope you enjoyed today's video thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content of course in the comment section do you like the signing of bogarts to the padres do you think they're gonna do more this offseason let me know what you think that's about it i'll catch you all in the next one peace